Okay, um, I'm back and I'm going to uh, be doing my uh, big one, the big circular board. And I thought be just before I uh, do the pour, which I'm not really certain of how I'm going to do yet. You see, I, I thought about this. So, I have the board on this plateau that turns. don't know if you can see it because it's totally white. Ooh. But it turns. It's one of those um, little stands that you can um, put clay on when you're making some clay figure. So I was thinking I will put the paint in some sort of a container. I don't think I want to do it with blowing the paint out because if I make this turn I think the paint will spread out but for the same turning reason paint might be going all over the place so I'm standing on plastic I have the table covered in plastic only my cupboards on the left hand side and some of my boards I'll put them away and I have to do this pretty fast because um, my camera says I have 27 minutes left so uh, I better get on with it um, first thing I want to say is anyone wants to um, uh, tag on to my Facebook feel free to uh, to do that so you can see the finished pieces I do and um, I'll, I'm happy uh, if you uh, want to join me there because um, I'd like to see some things that you do too so you can post uh, on my Facebook page as much as you want um, I'm just very curious to what people uh, people do so let's do it I would make a Facebook group but you know maintaining a group is a lot of work and I'd have to have like moderators and I don't know and I don't feel like doing that so unless um, I get like uh, 500 people uh, tagging on to my Facebook, I think I'll just keep it like that. Um, okay, the paints. Um, maybe I will just do um, a little thing in the beginning where I put all the paints on. I could do that. And I'll, I'll give you all the colors I use and I'll give you the pouring medium, the silicone I use. This is the silicone. This is the one I always use when I'm not sure, you know, what I'm going to do because this one always works. Okay, let's do this. Just a little itty bitty nervous because I'm not sure how much paint is going to go on this thing. And um, if I have some left, I just might do another one just after this video. So I have a container, a really tall one, because I do want to, um, I would like to have, you know, um, paint layering over each other and the, the broader your container gets, then you don't have that. Because if I put it in here and I start pouring like here, I think if I have this one, let's see, up to here. I should be good to go, right? Yeah, I should. I really tested my paint for the uh, thickness of the paint and let's see if you can see that. Yeah. So lots of people are asking me how much water, how much pouring medium. I put some paint in the uh, in the cup and then just put about mm, I'd say not more than 20% pouring medium in there. Then I mix it and then I add the water until I get this consistency. See it? So if you're wondering how thick or thin, just go back to this video. It's all pretty much the same thickness. And I, I was, um, I'm going to do a uh, totally different colors this time because normally I always do the turquoise green, the Van Dyke brown, uh, the azo orange, the cadmium yellow deep and uh, this time I am going totally blue and green 
because I'd like it to resemble something that reminds me of an ocean or water or something like that. Um, I'm not going to test it. Or shall I test it? Yeah, maybe I should. So, some on there. Just layering some paint so I can see if it's uh, thin enough. So it moves like I want it to move. And I think it's pretty thin. I think it'll work. Yeah, it's going to work. Then what I usually do is um, spread it out a little bit. No, let it, let it spread by itself. You can see how it runs down the page. It could be a little thinner. I think that wouldn't hurt it if it was just a little bit thinner. But I'm not going to be doing that because it would take up too much video time. So I will torch it, if I can find my torch here. Yeah. Let's see what it does. Yeah, it's torchable. And now I'm thinking maybe I should have a little bit more white. Yeah, I think I should. Uh, can I put this thing on pause? Uh, nope. I don't think so, because then I'll get two different um, two different movies. So let's just pour it. If I don't like it, the good thing about uh, doing it on a board like this, I can just scrape it off and start all over again. So what you want to do is, because the white um, is the most dense color, and you want the white on top. So when you're pouring, you put the white in first. Now oh, let's put it all in there. So all the whites in there. Then we want some turquoise green. And I better hold it because it might get a little bit too heavy. And then it'll tip over. We don't want that. And some green. good and I can already see some cells forming and I can always if I uh, don't have enough paint I can always uh, do a double pour oh, I can't show you it's too bad yeah I should have had some more white because you only see the white on the outside, but yeah, well, it just have to do. Then some more green, and let it. You know, I'm pouring it in from a little bit of a height, so it goes really down. Then this one. That's good. And a little bit more turquoise green. Yep. I think uh, that's enough. Yes, so let's do this, and I'm pretty nervous. is pretty amazing. Now we need to tip it just a little to get it over the uh, over the edge. Just a little bit. 
there it goes and of course you don't want those um you don't want those circular things in there because that'll make it ugly yeah okay so it's looking pretty good palette knives because I gotta pull it just a little bit more on the side here so it'll go over. And I will be, I think I'll just blow it over because everything is covered but just not this side. I should have uh, got some, just a little bit more paint. Oh, here it comes. Yeah, that'll work. I did a good job of uh, estimating how much paint I needed. For the first time in my life, I think. I see a lot of bubbles already. So, um... <coughs> Just a little torching for the bubbles. Get the bubbles out of there. But I do want it just to do what it wants to do a little bit. Oh, you can't believe what's happening. This is... It, I don't know, I think it's the color because I never use these colors. But it is beautiful. Just a little around the edges because you want to have the edges all covered. I just let someone, um, um, well, someone, my husband went went and let someone cut uh, these boards, and they're not that expensive, and it's something different, you know. Always. Um, Doing the uh, canvases is uh, pretty boring. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but there's cells all over the place. It's really pretty. But now I'm just going to help it just a little bit. In the middle here, I'd like a little cell action, with some lacing, not too much. And there are people that said, you know, they were scared to use a torch, but nothing can really happen. That one time when you saw the flames pop out, it was because I overfilled it. You don't want to really overfill the burner. This is a beautiful piece. I'm going to keep it, I'm sure. And I want to do the sides a little bit because I like it when the cells uh, go over the side. Wow, it's pretty. And I think I'm going to do a, a really good layer of uh, resin on this one. I love the cells. I, I don't think I'd ever want to pour uh, without silicone in it. just don't like the, the look uh, without the silicone. A little bit up here. I want to keep some, uh, oh, I only got oh, 14 minutes, that's okay. Because I want to do some close-ups. Okay, that's good. I really like it like this. And I'm really hoping it's going to dry like this. Um, 
this is going to make a little noise, sorry, but I'm going to take you off the stand and I'm going to do some close-up. If I know where to pick up this camera. Okay. This is awesome. I really love, love the colors. It does remind me of the ocean and you know where the waves make those bubbles foam that that's what it reminds me of I really like it. I like it a lot. The middle piece. I'm going to do a lot of these. It's fun. So, getting a total shot. And um, I'll make sure to uh, give you guys the colors I used if you want to do this. And really, I've had a few people comment and say, um, yeah, I don't want to copy you. It's no problem, really. You can do anything I do. I don't. I don't care because you know we all. After it's done and dried, it it's always different. So, you can copy uh, this uh, turn thing. I don't care. You should give it a go because it's a lot of fun. And um, right now I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't have tilted it so much, but. I can do that next time. And before I go, I want to show you... I can't get really up close with this one, uh, this camera, but uh, there are some beautiful cells. Really. Like over there. I love it. So, I'm going to write down the colors and all the stuff I used, and I'm going to put this one on YouTube. So, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for clicking on the ads because that really makes me happy that people really like my stuff and um, it helps a little bit to pay for the paint, not all, all of it, but just a little bit, but that's okay. It's uh, nice to know your, um, you know, that people like your stuff and learning and so thank you again. See you later, bye bye.